there! How are we doing today? Welcome to this channel. Welcome to where I'm going to be trying out Dee Dee's signature. I am so excited. This is upside down. Sorry. I'm going to be trying out the orange eyeshadow palette. Yes. So I know that this is not her newest palette, but I wanted to check it out because I really need more orange palettes in my collection. And honestly, it was so visually appealing and it was on sale and I couldn't pass it up and I was like, yes! I'm going to be doing three looks with this palette. If you are new here, hello, my name is Jane and I'm a fine artist and so I do art supply videos, but I also do eyeshadow videos. Eyeshadow videos. So if that sounds like a good deal for you, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Turn all the bell notifications on so that you know whatever I upload. And I do upload weekly, so... All right, guys, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just go ahead and get started with the first look. Oh, my gosh. I got to say, whenever I swatched that red, I kind of gasped. <laughs> I mean, that's beautiful. You know what I like about this is that it goes from light to to dark and that is one of my favorite things about a, a, an eyeshadow palette is if it can go from light to dark and you can see all the looks that you can create within the actual swatches and I like that there's burgundies in here and there's kind of the variations of orange without looking too similar. I want to do something bright and fun and colorful. Big surprise, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go in with that yellow shade. There are no shade names. And I'm going to take an E40 by Sigma and use it as a transition. I want to make sure you can see me. It's kind of amazing how much different it is to do makeup on camera than it is in real life. You know, in, in real, not real life, but whenever you're off camera. So because I use that brush, it's not like super, super packed on and not at its highest pigment level. I want that. That's what I want. Okay, so I'm going to go into, I'm just going to dive right into that big bright orange matte shade and put it in the crease. <laughs> what do I want to use for a brush? No, here's what we're going to use. Scott Barnes 62. All right. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sunny. Give me sunny. Give me orangey. Yes. This makes me happy. I am yearning for spring. I don't always yearn for spring's allergies, but I don't really have them too bad. My son has it so bad that his eyes get all red and everything. He looks pitiful. Yeah, that's going on very, very nice. No patchiness so far. Everything looks good. Okay, I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics blending brush from their Say It collection. I'm going to blend those two together. Just on the edges here. Just kind of blow it out, smoke it out a little bit. And I'm going to go back into the yellow and then, so I can get a little bit of a gradient, I want to kind of go right on the edges and blend it out like this. Come on, baby. I'm going to take a, a Sigma E36, it's this tiny little brush. I'm going to go into that red. You knew I was going to. So I'm going to go into that red and put it right in my crease, like right in the socket right here. And I'm just using a light hand. I'm just blending that into the socket. I'm going to use that red orange shade that I used in the crease and put that in my outer V. Do I want to do that? Yes. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna pat it in. I really try to be delicate with my skin. I don't like to just always be dragging it back and forth. I am 42, <laughs> and I'm embracing it. I don't mind it at all. So. With a Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush, I'm going to take this shade, sorry, not that shade, this shade, and I'm going to put, put that kind of like the beginning of the last half. Does that make sense? Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, everything's been so wonderful so far. 
sorry, I, I keep doing this and I can't do that. <laughs> I do like to spray my shimmers so there is no fallout. At least I try. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? I am so sorry. I'm going to keep it down here so that I'm not out of focus. I'm going to take that, that lemony yellow shade and I'm going to put it in the first half of my crease. Same brush. I'm going to spray it. Spray. That's nice too. It's shimmery, but it's not super, super metallic. So it really kind of complements this gold shade that's standing out. That's so pretty. Wow. You know what? I'm going to bring this peach shade towards like the very top right here. My eyes are deep set. I like to kind of show that part off. Sometimes I, I, I used to just leave it alone, but I'm feeling complicated apparently. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm just doing this. It's just enough of a hint of color. It's not crazy, but because the rest of the eye is crazy. I'm going to put that frosty white shade right in the very corner. Do I want to do like that lemon yellow in the inner corner? Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to, I'm just basically going to take a little bit of that matte yellow and put it in my inner corner. First, I'm going to put on my concealer and I'll be right back and we'll complete this look. Okay, so as I was observing whenever I was putting my concealer on, I think this needs to be blended just a little bit more into each other. So I'm going to take that orange shade and I'm going to blend it just a little bit before we go back to the inner corner. Take a domed pencil brush from Moda. Oh, it makes like a tangerine color. Oh, oh, oh okay. I like it whenever I layer a matte over a shimmer and I get a result like that. That's so fun. Wow. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we're going to do the inner corner, and I said I was going to do a matte yellow, right? I'm going to take this smoke brush, which is like a pencil, and I'm going to spray it with that frosty white shade on it. Oh my god, I almost did metallic. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm telling you, we, we work on autopilot sometimes whenever it comes to eyeshadow, unless we're deliberately like creating. If we fall back, we fall back on old habits, so let's do this. So what do, what do I want to do for the lower lashes? I'm going to go into that peachy shade next to the orange and put it on my lower lashes just because I want something to look lighter. And then I'm going to put darker underneath it. So I'm connecting it and kind of just smoking it into the outer V here. I may have gone a little overboard there. <laughs> Take that diffuser brush that we used in the beginning and just sort of make sure it's not harsh. I'm going to use that E36 from Sigma, take that bright orange shade, and I'm taking it, sorry, I am taking it just halfway in because I'm going to use probably that um, lemony metallic shade, like in the first, not really the first inner half, but that space in between. I'm really liking how this is coming together. You know, for I used to think that like I couldn't wear orange eyeshadow. I don't know where that belief came from, but I was like, oh, I don't know if I can pull that off. And really, like, if you're scared to try something, I get it, but just try it. Just try it, like, late at night or just whenever you have some free time and you can wipe it back off if you don't like it. That's really all, all there is to it is just trying because you never know what you might like and what you, what you might end up liking and what you might look good in, surprisingly. It might surprise you. Like, I, I did not think I could pull off orange and while I do look crazy right now without, like, mascara and eyeliner, it'll be pulled together, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'll be right back with my mascara and my eyeliner. We're going to complete the look. Well, <laughs> I feel like if My Little Pony were an actual human being, this is what she would look like. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I really like this eyeshadow palette so far. I really love this look. I really feel like this has a lot of possibilities for for being an orange palette. I mean, you can't even really say it's totally monochromatic because it does have a lot of different tones in it. So, and, all right. So let's move on to the second look. Okay, I've got my Good Vibes shirt on. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time. Usually I do wear lots of like intricate bright makeup in public, but I only have about a half hour to get ready with my eyes. 
this should be plenty of time, but I thought maybe I would take this opportunity to do something a little bit more demure, you know, a little bit more simple. Like I said before, like I was going to do before, hold me to it this time. So I was thinking maybe something peach with gold or maybe peach with orange metallic, something simple. We'll see. Okay. And just like that, her battery was dead. <laughs> <laughs> just as I was getting started. Okay, so before I got rudely cut off, I don't know if I said this before, but for the first look, I used the Juvia's Place I Prep by Prime shade one, or color one, which is that milky white shade. For the sake of testing, I'm gonna use my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly this time, and I'm just gonna put that on my lids real quick. I know I didn't mention this. I just realized I did not mention my liner and my mascara for my last look. I was wearing the Epic Wear Liner Stick by NYX in Deepest Brown. And then I took that burgundy shade and smudged it over it. And then I used the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes Smudge Proof Volumizing and Defining Mascara. I love this mascara because it's washable. And I like that in between takes, but I like also how it performs. Okay, I am babbling. Let's go ahead and use that peach shade all around the crease. And I don't want to take it too far up, but I'm using the flat. It's flat on one side and kind of pinched on the other. This is from BH Cosmetics. I don't remember what set it was. I'm going to just kind of tap it in. It's kind of a peachy orange shade. It doesn't, I like that because a lot of peaches are just too pale for me. So flick in it because that's what I do. Take a rougher 16 brush and just kind of blow it out a little bit more. Something simple, I promise. Uh-oh, my neighbor's home. That's not a bad thing. I'm glad he's good. I'm going to go back and just deepen up the crease again with that same shade. Yeah. This is good. I really am impressed with how this is performing. I do think that indie brands are really hard to beat, you know, because you can feel the love that goes into the whole venture of the eyeshadow. Did that make sense? Like the whole process. You can tell that people love what they do. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of that reddish orange shade. I guess that's about what you call it. Yeah, reddish orange shade. I'm going to put that in the outer V with the Sigma E45. And I'm not going in real heavy with it. I'm just tapping it on the outside. I mean, I, I tapped it just a couple times. Oh, he's singing today. <laughs> he's the sweetest old man. I love him so much. His name's Don. <laughs> Can you guys hear him? even hardly talk. I can't even hardly talk whenever it's, it's so much louder. Yeah, I really like this. Ooh, yeah. I might just take it a little up into the crease. Not much, just kind of dusting it into the crease, just right here on the outer parts. And just taking it, I guess I'm using this in, not just in the outer view, but like the last third of my eyelid there. Let's go with this little gold shade right here. We tried the other one, which is a little bit more on the yellow side. This one's a little bit more neutral. I'm gonna take that on a Real Techniques brush. It's a packing brush. I'm gonna pack that on, spray it with some setting spray, and put it on kind of this spot right here, not, not totally the inner corner. Ooh, that's so pretty. I mean, there's definitely yellow in it. These are so smooth. This one, I, I like this one a lot. This is the true, like a true gold, and then the other one was more of a yellow gold. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful shade. Now what I'm gonna do to connect the two, the orange matte, or the red orange matte, and this gold is go into the yellow metallic. I think I'm gonna go, I'm sorry, not the yellow metallic, the orange metallic. So there's a peachy metallic and an orange metallic. Let's go into this one. This is like the, the peachy orange. The other one's more of a true orange metallic. I'm gonna use that same brush, cleaned it off, and I'm gonna use it again. Spray it. Yes, 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 yes. I'm 
just kind of making sure that everything looks nice and blended and I do like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that same brush and use the frosty white shade and put it in that inner corner. And when I say inner corner, I don't mean the very inner corner, I mean like that area that I did not cover. I'll see, you know, that's nice. It's a nice subtle shade. It's it's shimmery, frosty, but it's not super, super foiled. It's just a nice metallic white. And you know what I'm gonna do? I wanna dust a little bit of that lemon yellow just to kind of give it a little bit of a yellow tint. Is it going to cooperate? Yes, yes, they do build on each other very nicely and blend. Good Lord, where have I been all my life? What have I been doing? I just discovered this this brand too, like not too long ago, I was watching Annette's Makeup Corner and she was doing a review on the neutrals, her Neutral Wonders palette. And I was like, oh my God, I've never really like, other than the Dollhouse palette, which I just reviewed, I really haven't ever seen a palette, a neutral palette and be like, oh my God, I have to have that. <laughs> Like, it's not me. <laughs> so it looks amazing, though. And I want to get her Pumpkin Spice palette, too, her quad. So I'm using the same brush that I did in the first look by Moda, and it's this Dome Utility brush. And I'm going to go in with that peach shade, and I'm just going to put it underneath my lower lashes. And just the way my eyes are shaped, it's easier to kind of connect it to the outer V because I have these eyes that just like if I if I use this it's going to get kind of up in there anyway so I might as well blow it out and smoke it out and blend it might as well then I'm gonna go with an E40 and just diffuse it just a little bit and kind of bring it out okay so I'm going to go into this little round flat brush from BH Cosmetics and this is the Rose Gold Collection. I'm gonna go in with this sort of red orange shade that we're using out in the outer V and then I'm gonna go right opposite up here. I'm gonna dip a couple times into this and then I'm gonna dip a couple of times into the brown and just put it on my lower lash line right underneath my lashes. I'm just gonna take it right here and kind of giving that sole sort of reverse cat eye treatment here. I'm doing it like that. That way we have some illusion of having like, winged eyeliner, even though it's not. I'm gonna go back and just put a little bit more peach underneath it. And I don't know if I have time for eyeliner. I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, there she is. <laughs> so this is the second look. I decided to actually use that white color to highlight myself. Yeah. So for my eyeliner, I decided to not put anything on the top. I used this darkest brown shade and I just used this itty bitty teeny tiny refer brush and just dotted it on the inner half, or I'm sorry, the outer half. And then for mascara, I used the Essence Lash Princess in Sculpted Volume. And I used that white shade as a highlight right now. And I have the Color Riche lipstick in Shining Peach. So I gotta go like right now. So I'll be back for look three. All right, this is the look. <laughs> I'm taking this firm blending brush. It's a firm blending brush by Sigma E44. Okay, I'm gonna go into that red shade and I'm gonna just, okay, if you, if you notice, if you notice, I have white shit on my eyes. It's not white shit. It is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte in Lift. So it's white. I love these things. I have a few of them and I really love them. I'm going to put that red in the crease and just, I'm going in lightly just because I don't want to overdo it. I have a tendency if I go in, I really run the risk of over blending and then it gets all the way up here and not that that's necessarily bad, but it's not aesthetically pleasing to me. And then I get really critical and then I wipe off my makeup. So we don't want to do that. And I'm really trying hard not to tug. I'm just stamping. But I think I'm going to kind of pull it in a little bit, like from out here. And then that way I've got a little bit more of a blown out look. You know what I'm saying? Actually, we're gonna use a blending brush. And I'm just blending out the very edges because I don't want it to be all the way up on my brow bone. 
and I sometimes get a little overzealous with my colors today on that last look. The second look, I'm going to take the medium sweeper brush from Sigma and take that same shade and put it into the crease. This time I am wanting it to be more saturated. Okay, this is a little tricky for me. And I want to make sure I'm placing it right where I want it to be without looking down. Because from this perspective, I need to look straight ahead so that I'm getting exactly where I need to go here. And I kind of, I'm just, I'm going right past the arch. So that'll be my shape. I'm going to take this little itty bitty fluffy brush from Repper. I'm going to dip into that mahogany shade, making sure it is nice and covered. I can tell that this is like the last look of the day because I'm getting all weird. <laughs> I'm just putting it right in that socket there. Get that color in there and look real pretty. <laughs> this is such a beautiful shade. I'm just taking care to look down so that I know exactly where I need to put it. Which with my eyes can be a little tricky because they're so deep set. If you have deep set eyes, you know exactly how it is. I'm not going to go into the outer V just now. I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna go into that lemony metallic shade. I'm gonna put that in the inner portion here. Or do I wanna do peach? I'll do the lemony yellow. Where's that packing brush I used earlier? Gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, you are so beautiful to me. And I'm turning that a little over to the side and just putting it right up in here. So a little bit of a faux cut crease look. Wow. <laughs> look at that, that meme. Wow. Wow. Taking the peach metallic shade and I'm going to put it right next to the lemony shade. Same brush. Do I want to use this? I'm going to go over that which, with the matte peach shade. So I know I can hear you judging me. Why didn't you use that one first? I honestly don't know. Sometimes you just change your mind, you know? Maybe we could use yellow. We're just going to stack some colors on top of each other. I have an idea. I think I might have an idea. I'm putting that lemon color towards the middle after all because I'm indecisive tonight. Then I'm using that angled brush that I used earlier and I'm going to go back into the red and I'm going to put that in the outer V. Actually, I'm going to take it right here and kind of put it towards the last third. Angle it down just a little bit. Now we got to figure something out for this area right here. Do I bring the orange in? I think I should. I'm going to bring that matte orange in. I'm feeling like the mattes are really working for me today. We're going to see how it's going to go with this little fluffy brush. Maybe I'll just pull it on in even further. I don't know. Can I do that? Can I layer them over the metallics? See, that's kind of nice. I like that. I'm going to take that little refer 13 and I'm going to flick this out, out on the edge, on both sides, just using a careful hand. So it kind of gives this, well, it gives an upswept look. What's the word? <laughs> Lifted. <laughs> but I'm also going to do it with um, the burgundy shade real quick. I'm going to try to do something really quick. I'm going to use this little angled brush here. It's a liner brush. And I'm going to say right about there, I'm sweeping it up. And then I'm taking that angled sweeper brush. I'm just sweeping this out just a little bit more. So it kind of, if you can see, it's it's not real harsh. It's just very smoky and comes together, goes up. I planned on it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Make sure if you do this, like don't raise your eyebrows because then it's going to confuse you. Yay, I did something. I'm going to take that same E33 with that red. Just to, I mean, I'm just dipping in very, very lightly. Two dips. And I'm going to put it underneath. About halfway in. Just the very, very tip. Don't go there, pervert. 
and just halfway through kind of and you know what we'll just go ahead and take it in just a little bit further I'm gonna go into that burgundy shade again I'm gonna take this little angled brush and just plop it in there take a smudge brush and just let's go into that like yellow gold maybe one of it probably would be better to do this gold and use that as the inner corner highlight. If that doesn't look good, then I'll try something else. That's all you gotta do. If you're afraid to try something, just try it. If it doesn't work, you can always wipe it off. If I look like I'm just making mistakes, of course I make mistakes. It's always easy to see the polished things online, right? But we often forget that there's still trial and error. I think I'll take that next gold shade and just go right next to it and kind of marry these two together. Or should I do red? Man, I am indecisive, aren't I? Let's do orange. Matte orange. Using the smoke pencil brush from BH. Just blending those two together. And I think we got a look. I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back. Okay, this is the third and final look. What do we think? I like it. I really, really do like it. It's. I think I was getting a little tired there in the last look, but I really had a lot of fun with it today. I will show you what else I got on my face, and then we'll talk about my final thoughts. I have on my lips, I have, it is just the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Tiramisu, and then I went over it. I filled it all in, and then I went over it with this It's Just Colored Rain Lip Gloss in Mirage. It's a little bit more sheer than I thought it would be, and then I used the Bye Bye Panda, Panda Eyes that I mentioned earlier on my on my lashes, I use the NYX Epic Link, Epic Link Liner. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> it's getting like the Epic Ink Liner in black. And then let's see, I have the Peach Bellini by BH Cosmetics as blush. I have the ColourPop Barbie Beach Party Super Shock Highlighter. I really do like the formula. I'm very, very much a fan of Super Shock highlighters and cheek formulas. So I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder, and is that it? So what do I think of the DD Signature Orange Palette? I really had a lot of fun with this today. I really had a, like just a good time digging into a color that I'm just kind of discovering that I really, really love. And the formulas, as far as the mattes are concerned, you saw it. They were they built fine. They blended fine. I didn't have any patchiness or any muddiness or anything. And that can be easy to do whenever you have browns mixed with oranges. And so I think this is a fantastic formula. I like, I prefer more foiled shades like this that are metallic versus kind of the more laid back kind of metallics. This is fine though. Uh, I really like the fact that she's got both a peach matte and a peach metallic in here. I like that she's got, you know, the, the two matte and metallic with the lemon shades, but I do think that the inner corner highlight would have been nicer if it would have been, if it would have had like more of a white gold iridescent. The inner corner is fine. It's just a, uh, I just wish it would have had a little bit of gold in it. Maybe that's just a preference. Like I said, it's not, I'm not saying that it's bad, but those are just my overall thoughts. Will I be reaching for this? Absolutely. I really think it's at a great price. I really like the fact that it supports a one woman army here. <laughs> and so I really look forward to actually trying more of Dee Dee's signature. Her whole entire line is fruit themed makeup. I love that about her. So Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you will subscribe. I will have more content, more art supplies, more eyeshadow. So if you like either one of those, you're going to see it here. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Go out and have fun today and remember to smile and go ahead and be daring. Put on that colorful eyeshadow because you never know what you might have as your new favorite. Just saying. So, all right. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. I'm so excited because today I drank, oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Subscribe if you feel so inclined to, feel free. And oh, also love makeup, especially eyeshadows, especially. Really? <laughs> I almost had it. You know, <laughs> as somebody who. <laughs> 
look at my swatches again <laughs> on my arm. I'm gonna take this little smoking brush, not smoking, not the mahogany, but the dark brown, and, oh, I'm sorry, shit. <laughs> the dark brown, darkest brown, deepest brown. Okay, we gotta do this over again. <laughs> And for my lips, I have the L'Oreal Color Riche. I'm gonna drop it. 